Ipinanganak at lumaki sa Amerika si Casey Miller, na mas nakilala natin bilang si Casey Montero. Filipino ang kanyang mommy at of German-Irish descent naman ang kanyang daddy. Middle child sa tatlong boys si Casey at kuya niya ang kapwa-aktor na si Troy Montero. How would you describe your personality back then? Probably about the same, makulit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But actually, as I get older, I'm less makulit. I'm more grumpy. <laughs> I'm more <laughs> masongit. Yeah, yeah. We're aging. <laughs> yeah. Mabait na bata ka ba? Siguro mga high school, that's when I turned into a bad boy. Mm, when you say bad boy, can you expound? Mm. Like, ano yung mga kalokohan na ginagawa mo dati? I don't know if I really want to expound, but uh, <laughs> let's say I, I broke my parents' hearts a couple of times. Yeah. Real estate at land development ng business noon ng kanilang pamilya. So, real estate, mm -hmm. construction, at siyempre, yung mga jobs, na, yung first jobs are labor, construction. So, I worked yes. for my uncle, building fences with my brother all summer long. So, that's why I have uh, a lot of res respect yeah. para sa mga construction workers. Pero alam nyo bang hindi pag-aartista, kundi pagiging isang professional athlete pala ang pangarap noon ni Casey? Actually, when I was growing up, I wanted to be an uh, athlete, baseball player. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I also wanted to work at uh, SeaWorld. Kasama yung mga uh, orca whales, you know, dolphins. Uh -huh. That was, that was uh, yeah, when I was uh, really small. But really, it was, a, it was an athlete. I wanted to be a baseball player. Kwento pa ni Casey, madalas daw siyang mabuli noon ang kanilang kuya Troy. Well, kasi si Troy, he's about six, seven years older than me. Yes. Tapos yung bunso at saka ako, two, two, three years apart. Alright. So, si Troy was uh, a bully talaga. Utusan ka, gano'n? Oh, as in, like, he would just, he would beat us. He said, oh. if you cry, I'll make Ay, you cry yeah, more. Lumipas din naman daw ang face na ito. At lumaki naman silang magkakasundo at magkakasama sa kulitan. Nang magbinata, bumisita si Casey sa Pilipinas para magbakasyon pero bumalik din kaagad sa Amerika. Si Troy naman na nagmomodelo na noon sa States ang sumunod na nagtungo sa Pilipinas para subukan ang showbiz. At kaagad namang nabigyan ng project bilang host ng isang dance show. Never ka talaga nag interest pa sa show business that time? Si Troy, kasi talagang model siya. He was modeling in the U.S., mm -hmm. and so his plan was to come here to try it out. Oh, I was not a model. I was just a construction worker or having fun. Mm -hmm. I was, what, 20, 19, 20 years old? All right. So when he came here and said, yeah, I'm going to live here, what, 20, what a 21-year-old, 20-year-old? Sige, I'll live in the Philippines also. Kasunod nito, nagbalik Pinas si Casey para sumubok din sa showbiz. Nag-audition siya bilang video jockey o VJ sa isang music channel. Inglesero, kwela at always cool. Ganyan ilarawan ng marami si Casey Montero. Tinanong namin si Casey kung gagawa ng isang mini countdown na mala VJ natin ni Pepersent, ano ang kanyang top three things that we must know about Casey Montero. Sa top three, alam ba ninyong si Casey ang kauna-unahang itinanghal na male MTV VJ ng Pilipinas? Gano kahirap yung pag-audition para maging VJ? Marami kayo doon, hundreds. Hundreds, thousands, hundreds. yeah. Mila ka. Parang special audition, pero okay. I still had to compete with everyone. And that class was Mark Nelson, Mo Twister, Belinda, who won with me. Ano bang ginawa mo? Bakit ikaw out of thousands of I don't know. who tried? Um, What do you think? Little gang boy, like, I, I, don't, I really don't know. If I watched the audition now, I'd probably be embarrassed. <laughs> Or actually, I wouldn't be embarrassed. It's exactly the same way I am. Nag-VJ si Casey for 12 years. Kasabay nito, naging host din siya sa Sunday Musical Variety Show na SOP at Party Pilipinas. I know what it is. It's the <laughs> Apple <laughs> Musical. You know, I actually wow. had... It's, this is going to be something that I would uh, really like. So, uh, I was hosting a show business na yan eh. So, and then GMA asked, okay, can you be part of SOP? I was like, okay, I'll host, I'll host. <laughs> That was it, he said, okay, no, you have to sing and dance. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I've never had to sing. I can't sing. Um, I'm not a great dancer when I have to learn choreography. Pero ginawa mo yan? So we go, okay. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, so for, for SOP, I was there for another eight years. It, it, like the typical Pinoy family. Uh, Sige, uh, Casey, 
go sing or go, go dance in front of the family reunion. Yes. So, but it was on national TV instead. Pero to magal kana ng eight years. So ibig sabihin na enjoy mo rin siya. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really liked it. Dito. What? What? Napasabak din si Casey sa aktingan nang napasama siya sa sitcom na Bebo Tenga. Jerry, Jerry. That's me. I'm Jerry. How are you? How are you? I also was on Bebo Tenga with Jano and, uh, and Anjo yes. and G and comedy. Aubrey. That was comedy, but it was all, it was all, like when you go on a show with those guys, it's all ad lib. There's a script, but it's So, paano yun kung punchline na medyo parang... Wala. I would, have, I would wait for someone to say their line, right? If you didn't say your line, then I would miss it. Taong 2011 naman nang sumali si Casey sa hit reality show na Survivor Philippine Celebrity Double Showdown. Kasama ang dating asawa na si Geneva Cruz. Survivor. Let's talk about Survivor. Uh, <laughs> Kamusta ang experience? So, so I went with my ex-wife at, at the time to see Geneva. And right. she didn't make it past the first day. Mm. She just, I don't know, she couldn't take it. So right away, out, I'm out as well. Because there were couples if you're, and the, the game just started. So they said, okay, Casey, out gonna. I was like, oh, gosh, we just started. I was so excited, like, so buddy. So out si Geneva, pero they took they brought, you in? They let me back in. Ah, kahit wala kang partner? Uh -oh. Wala. Ah, I, I can't, I mean, I played a good game. Yeah. I, I got, I got game, cheated, so, yeah. I got cheated out. So I didn't do anything wrong. I played fair. Si Casey ay mauta. Si Casey ay uh, mapagbigay. For 36 days sa uh, isla, eh talagang, yun, nakilala mo naman pala na, ano pala to, yung approachable naman pala na tao. Uh, pwede mong, pwede mong maabot. Yun, hindi mo, yung parang hindi siya mahirap abutin. Yun. Kwento pa ni Casey. Pagkatapos ng Survivor, nagplano na raw siyang iwan ang Pilipinas. At that time, si ano? Geneva was living in the U.S. getting right. her green card. Ah, okay. At sabi niya sa akin, hindi niya kaya na by herself. Mm. So I, I quit MTV, I quit GMA, I quit wow. everything and moved back to the States. Taong 2012, nang tuluyang nagkahiwalay si na Casey at Geneva. At nitong nakaraang taon, nagbalik showbiz naman si Casey. At napanood siya sa drama action series na alias Robin Hood. And I will make sure your next heart attack would be your last. Maayos siya katrabaho. He's very professional. Uh, he does his homework. Kasi si Casey, di ba, alam naman niya na hindi siya kagalingan magtagalog. Di ba? So he's very serious about studying his lines. Si Casey ay makulit na payaso. Um, siya ay very witty. Saka uh, mabait na tao. Kasi yeah. kontrabida ka doon eh. Yeah. Diba? Bad guy ka doon. Actually, that's why I'm, eh. I'm, 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 I have to grow this out now. That's why I have a beard now. Because ah, okay. I'm, I'm shooting a movie mm -hmm. and they said you have to Bad look guy then. Bad. Because okay. I have like dimples and like... Nuts. 